supporters who are taking their children and their daughters to go and watch the game. So that's that, what I call that education. Uh, we approved the, our strategy, sustainability strategy, in December 2021. In the strategy, we set some uh, specific targets and spe specific KPIs, and now we are moving to an action plan. The action plan in these topics, we are working on concrete actions, not only in the awareness campaign, with an awareness campaign, but also with some concrete action in terms of education and in terms of engagement. Uh, with our uh, football stakeholders. Uh, for this year, we are, this is a, a new respect campaign. This is only part of the new respect campaign. Uh, online abuse is uh, the first of the fifth areas where we, we want to, to work. And uh, we need, of course, to, to engage all our football stakeholders in this process because it's important to work together. It's important uh, that we analyze and we focus that is not possible in football as in the civil society to have the topic of the online abuse. It is unacceptable. We feel our responsibility and we feel that we need to move to concrete action now. I specifically choose this issue um, for the campaign around these Euros and... Um, even like now I'm a bit anxious about talking about it just because of every time you have to talk about it, it brings up scars. I think the reason why I wanted to get involved was I never ever want anyone to, to go through it or we never want anyone else to, me personally, feel how I felt after online abuse. And it wasn't just one occasion, it was multiple occasions and, and quite bad. And I think then me personally and, and everyone involved, we have a responsibility to educate people, to explain to people and not necessarily talk about interventions, but actually stop it. You know, why do we do it? We've already spoken about it being a really difficult world that we live in and we want to be happy, inclusive, embracive, supportive, champion one another. And online abuse is a, is a terrible thing that everyone goes through. Well, not everyone, but people go through and it just has to stop. And I'm so passionate about it because I never, ever want any human to feel the way I felt and we saw in their scars. It leaves people with lasting scars and we have to stop this. And so that's why I wanted to get involved and have a responsibility, and we all do. And we have to talk about it to get it going.